Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 22572. This preview comes with a lot of new stuff, but they are now tied to a specific release of Windows 11. Microsoft may choose to include or discard any of these features at any time. Also some features may even roll out before the next feature update. Ok, here's what's new on Windows 11 build 22572. In the start menu there are not a lot of new changes, but the Windows Terminal now has been renamed to just Terminal, as you can see right here. Also, the legacy Windows Media Player, now it just referred to Windows Media Player Legacy. Starting on build 22572, Windows 11 introduces a new redesigned version of the PrintQ app. Actually, I'm just going to look for the print queue. So you can see how that looks like. And the new interface matches the new design language that we see throughout Windows 11. And the application is meant to make it easier to identify the print job with thumbnail, as you can see right here and to see the status and manage different things. So for this video, turn off the printer. That's why we see an error and we can see that we have a menu where you can pause, restart or cancel the print. And we also get a menu to select the different print queues for other printers. In addition to that, Microsoft has also quietly updated the print interface. As you can see, it's the same one that we seen before on Windows 10 and now it just has the new design language that we're seeing throughout the operating system. Also in this flight the quick assist icon for the application has been updated with a new fluent design as you can see right here and also I don't know if you can tell but the uh, focus icon has also been updated and there is even a new icon for the Windows Sandbox, as you can see right here. As part of the uh, changes for Windows 11 build 22572, the Windows Management Instrumentation Command Line, also known as WMIC tool, now becomes a feature on demand. So you can now uninstall it and reinstall it from the optional features page. As you can see, it comes installed by default, but we can now quickly uninstall it from the computer. Also, if we go to personalization and on the taskbar page, the touch keyboard setting has been updated to have a drop down with these three different options, including never, always, and when no keyboard attach options. Now let's jump into File Explorer where we're going to find some interesting new changes. First, I'm going to show you what Microsoft has officially announced and that's the ability to use the shift key in combination with the right click to access the legacy context menu. So you no longer have to right click to open the new context menu and then have to press shift F10 or this option to access the same menu. I wish Microsoft will just move all the settings to the new context menu, but that may take some time. Also on quick access, we're going to find a new filter menu that allows you to sort different content by type. Also for recent files, we're now going to see the option to pin that specific file to quick access from the command bar. You can always right click the recent file and also select the same pin to quick access option. Okay, now let's talk about tabs in File Explorer. Microsoft hasn't officially announced it, but on build 22,572, the release includes an updated version of File Explorer with support with tabs, but that's something that you have to enable manually. I have a video explaining how to do this process if you want to test an early preview of the feature and I will be leaving the link in the video description so you can follow along and try it for yourself. But as you can see, now we have tabs and it works just like on File Explorer. And like I said in my other video, it actually, they look pretty much the same. You get an option to open a new tab 
you can switch between folders and that will also be reflected on the tab you can close a tab and since this is like an early preview apparently you can so right now you can only open and close tabs you can also open a different instance that will also have its own set of tabs furthermore you can right click a folder and you will now see an option to open that particular folder in a new tab and from the left side you can also right click any of the items and you will have the option to open it in a new tab one thing that i wanted to test is that when you open a new tab it always opens in quick access so i'm going to change that to open this pc actually i didn't know there was like a an option to open one drive directly from file explorer and then i'm going to click ok and i'm just going to restart file explorer and we're on this pc and then just go to the desktop and open a new tab and as you can see we're opening whatever the default for the experience this is still a work in progress and we still don't know if this actually is going to ship with the final version of windows 11 and we don't even know if this is going to show up before the next feature update now let me just show you how this looks with the dark theme and this is file explorer with tabs using the dark theme Microsoft is also introducing two new apps for Windows 11, including Microsoft Family and the ClipChamp app. The Microsoft Family app, it's just an app that combines all the family safety features you use on the web and mobile. The app lets you set parental control settings, configure screen time for apps and games, and location tracking for family members. So I'm not pretty sure how this app is designed, but it seems that it's a web app more than anything. And when you open, it opens the family section of your Microsoft account. And to check that, I'm going to open Microsoft Edge and I'm gonna to go to my Microsoft account. And as you can see, they're pretty much the same. So this is pretty much a web app. Then there is the uh, ClipChamp app which Microsoft acquired not too long ago, and now it's going to come pre-installed on Windows 11. The app has been designed for making video creation easy, fast, and fun, according to the company. The app has all the basic tools like trimming and splitting, more pro-style features like transitions and animation text. In addition for real-time content capture, there is also a built-in webcam and a screen recorder. And I guess you only get the basic features because there is a upgrade button. That it means that you're going to have to pay a subscription in order to get more advanced features with the app. In addition to these new features and improvements on build 20,572, on build 20,000. 567 there were some changes that i couldn't demo because they were not available on installation and the first one is that microsoft is now removing the your microsoft account page and is bringing that information into the account section as you can see right here the other improvement was the ability for windows update to schedule automatic updates during times when would result in lower carbon emissions according to the company electrical grids supply power from different sources including renewables and fossil fuels and on this update windows 11 will now prioritize installing updates when more clean energy is being used such as solar wind and hydro and you will know if your computer is actually using this new process because you're going to see this notification at the bottom of the windows update page and that's it those were pretty much all the new improvements and changes available on windows 11 build 22572 remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing